So when you take a look at her face, it is actually fairly well made and fairly accurate to the actual character itself, which makes it even more unfortunate that this figure wasn't bigger so that we can appreciate the details. Hello and welcome to Exco Garnier Blog and Photography, I'm Steven and today I'll be giving this press figure here a quick mini review. I don't really know how to pronounce her name in English, I will just call her Sanjang, but Sanjang Xuanzang, how do you pronounce that, right? In Chinese, she is known as Sanjang Fa Shi, which is a fairly well-known character in Chinese folklore, the journey to the West folklore. I believe the anime Genso Modern Saoki is also based on that folklore, but of course the monk is not some bishoujo like what you see with the Fate franchise. This is a very small press figure that goes by the noodle stopper style, where the figure is in sitting pose and you need to find somewhere to place the figure yourself. She does not come with a base of her own. However, I'm kind of puzzled why Sega would make this thing so small because they have made way larger price figures before for not too much more money. I paid close to 12 US dollars for this one including shipping, 50 Malaysian ringgit which I would say that is still reasonable but this thing would probably be only 500 yen or so on a queen toy machine. Especially over here in Malaysia where a price figure averages 70 to 80 Malaysian Ringgit, which is close to 20 US dollars. Please do not pay that kind of price for this price figure. It is not worth it at all. The amount of details on this price figure is on the lower side, even by price figure standards. And also bear in mind that do not buy price figures like this in a single shipment, one single price figure. You need to buy a few and combine ship them together to get your money's worth. Shipping this one single figure, international shipping rates, that is not worth it at all. With the paintwork of this price figure, they are, yeah, yeah, price figure standard, but actually fairly well done, especially on her outfit. I had to rely on this macro lens over here. I just bought this lens about more than a month ago. This is the Nikon Z 105mm 2.8S macro. A macro lens specific for the Nikon Z mirrorless camera system. I had to rely on this lens to show you the face of this figure in detail. So when you take a look at her face, it is actually fairly well made and fairly accurate to the actual character itself, which makes it even more unfortunate that this figure wasn't bigger so that we can appreciate the details. Her face is actually better done than Bedivere, which I reviewed recently because you can't even see Bedivere's mouth in some occasions depending on the lighting and yeah, your surrounding lighting of course. But with this figure of Sanjang, at least you can still see the outline of her mouth. It is properly sculpted and painted compared to Bedivere, which is a very shallow sculpt in comparison. Even though obvious seam lines are present on pretty much every single price figure, what I don't like about this one over here is where her bikini strap literally pierces and into her boobs. Not very nice at all. And once again, this could have been prevented if this figure was larger. Maybe the seam lines would be less obvious. I mean, if you look at what Full Wheel did over here with this figure, this is 17 centimeters. This is 12 centimeters. You can see how big the difference is. So I don't think Sanjang really deserves better than what she is getting with this price figure. It is very unfortunate, but I would actually pay 20,000 yen, 18,000, 20,000 yen for a very high quality skill figure of her. In addition, to that, the sculpt on the right side of her hand, there is a huge irregularity. I don't really know what is going on at all, but that should not be happening even on a price figure. Should you buy this price figure of Sanjang, it all boils down to two factors. Number one is how badly you want a figure of this specific character, which I believe there are not many out there. And number two, which is the more important one whether you can find her for really cheap over at places like Mandarake for 5-600 Japanese yen and combine ship it with your other purchases. Do not buy her solo in one single shipment. 
That is all I can say about this price figure if you insist on buying one. That about concludes my review for today. Thank you very much for watching and do not hesitate to ask questions in the comments below. I shall see you guys again soon. Goodbye.